Welcome to Shove It in Your Pie Hole. I'm Michael. I'm Aaron. And we have my nephew. Nader is what they call me, but my real name's Sean. Uh, we have him back. He's actually staying with us for a few days. We just had my uh, oldest son and his wife finally moved out, and they had two of their friends staying here, so we had nine people in the house. They moved out. The house is in chaos, so he's here helping sorting stuff and cleaning up because we're having uh, guests on the weekend. His mom and grandparents are coming to visit. So anyway, enough of that that stuff. Uh, we have today Brent and Sam's Gourmet Cookies Key Lime White Chocolate. Now, what we, were, we really wanted to share that the purpose of these videos are pretty much... We don't care trying to become a channel and whatever. We're just doing this for funsies. Be nice to you, buddy. Yeah. But uh, what we what we really want to do is when we see them on TV, they're trying new products. and and But most of them are like, oh, here's some nasty crap. Let's try to eat it all down. And like on, we like Good Mythical Morning. They always do, you know, Will It Taco or something. And then they have like um, weird stuff. And then they do obviously something that, you know, is going to take taste nasty is all shenanigans. No challenges for us. Yeah. So we like to, hey, let's let's go out and, and find just stuff that's real cheap. We get at food auctions and stuff and then say, hey, see how we like it. It just so happened that he didn't like moon pies or the hot spicy pickle was utterly disgusting. We didn't do that on purpose. We, we go out like this one. Key lime white chocolate. That sounds like it's going to be good. Now this particular... Uh, gourmet cookie is seven ounces and it costs three dollars and 28 cents so that's 47 cents a ounce or seven dollars and 50 cents a pound now we got this particular box for two bucks so that makes it 29 cents an ounce or 457 a pound which is 62 percent of the original price not one of our best buys but still that's that's not Over bad saving, saving almost 40 percent off so, anything to add, Aaron? Um, it's key lime. Yeah, it's, it's white chocolate. There, there's, there's not, there's not a lot of. I researched a little bit, but the website's really not doesn't say much. It, it the, the cookies are kind of green and they're kosher. That's all we really found. And they're from Key West, which is the little islands from the little islands at the bottom floor. So we have our, our YouTube channel. Our if you want to email uh, Aaron and I, our email is two guys in food at gmail.com. That's the number two, and then guys in food, and it's guys with an S. We're not trying to do the Z and try to be clever or hip or anything. Um, well, let's get let's let's open it up and see what they what they look like if they are green. I'm assuming they are. That's what it says. On First, you gotta open the cardboard, and then, of course, there's a little bag. Pure. Oh, safe, savor the smell. Interesting. It smells like cookies. I don't know if I can. If I didn't know ahead of time that they were key lime flavor. One of the better I, smells of yeah, the show. Yeah, I, I wouldn't go. But knowing it ahead of time, you know, you can kind of smell it. Yeah, it doesn't even smell like key lime. I can smell hints of it. Yeah, I can smell key lime. But if, if, if someone were to say, here, smell this, and I didn't know ahead of time, I might not be able to guess. So, should really shove it in your pie hole. I should really mute my phone. Pretty good. I like it. It's not too bad. I like it. It's just weird once you first taste it. What the after effect is? The aftertaste. Yeah, the aftertaste is good. I'll have another. Okay. I don't really tend to care for white chocolate. Do you want another one, Aaron? All right. Now, white chocolate is technically not chocolate because the definition of chocolate it has to contain. I could put it that I could, I could basically keep it down my throat. That's a plus. I'm much more pick. Apparently, I'm much more pickier than I thought I am. But I'll 
also, like it says here on the box, there are different flavors. There's triple chocolate, uh, bliss. I like key lime um, pie. Chocolate chip pecan. Really big uh, as we we tried today, the key lime white chocolate, and also raspberry chocolate. And those are the flavors that they have. So. Yeah, check out. You can check out their website, Brett Brett and Sands Gourmet Cookies. It's all about the products and the prices and how to ship them to you or want to, want to carry them in your store if you're a business owner. But nothing really on the product itself. Uh, I, I Sometimes I'll look up food reviews, but like cookie, like who's going to really say something bad about a cookie other than this guy? But then this is like, see, we just bought it. We just bought it because it was cheap. It's like, oh. Key lime white chocolate. Never, never heard of it. Never heard of this brand. And we got it for cheap, and we're doing a show, so I bought it. Normally, I'm not a big white chocolate fan. Usually, I'm not. I'm usually not. I'm, I usually don't like cookies, but uh, but apparently, apparently, I realize I'm super picky sometimes. I got a question for you two. Mm. What would you rate it out of ten? I mean, I don't know. It's decent. It's passable. I'd give it an 8 out of 10. I'm getting you one time. It's really, these are one of those cookies that's real crunchy. You know, some store-bought cookies are real crunchy because there's a lot of preservatives or, or whatever, however they make it. This one, it's real, it's real, real crunchy on the outside. And it's like the middle is like this. Melted, melts right in your mouth. Since we're talking about things, I'm just going to eat up the last episode he was in. Is we had that moon pie. I, I can you, keep need to, you need to get off the moon pies, Aaron. Just let it go. Yeah, let it go. Yeah, sure. Once I it turns, once the moon pies actually taste good, I'll have to do it. I'm ah! Compared to Excuse me. Last week, I have, I can keep the. I can, I'm allergic to your BS. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm just going to say this. I could keep. I could put this down in my throat. I can't do the last one. Speaking of the moon pies, if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. They gave my uh, uh, link to my channel uh, in the description. If you want to check out my channel, and hopefully you like these things are the bomb. Michael, what? I don't know, just watch a lot of Walking Dead lately. Alrighty. Well, anyway, that's it for this episode of Shove It In Your Pie Hole. Until next time.